Hey everybody, it's the Faxman talking college football for a week. I guess it's week three, college football. Um, quick thing, uh, last week I uh, had an underdog, thought would stay in the game, lost. Uh, one thing I learned about this business is generally Monday morning, handicappers as a rule, they, they get themselves a pencil and paper and they say, okay, let me write down how I can spin losing into winning. Oh, you know, I had this game, and, you know, if this guy don't go for the two-point conversion, and, you know, if we don't hold, if we hold him on that third and one where it was a pass interference penalty, we get the ball to a different game. You know, you guys can talk about closing lines and opening lines and steams and fucking syndicate games and all that shit. The, the, the bottom line is this. There's no excuse for losing. I mean, you, you lose, you lose. It's actually part of the game. Um, you know, of course, you'll get the, the, the emails. Hey, you suck. You know, had a couple of angry people on YouTube. But I will say this. Um, don't come on these videos and say, guys, play this game. After it wins, join my program. I don't sit there and put a tagline on it and say, this is my game of the month, game of the year. This fucking game ain't losing. I don't do it. Um, I've been very unfortunate with with the comp games, and I, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, I get these bad streaks, good streaks. It's just it's just na it's human nature. We we, we live in a uh, in a microwave society when it comes to sports gambling. It's basically we want it fast, and and we want results, and we're always gonna remember the last one. And and I understand that. I'm I'm doing this a long time, uh, but I mean. I, I can't get on this video this week and say, hey, guess what? The law of average is on our side. Pound this motherfucker like you mean it. Um, I, I'm a guy that pulls back when I lose. I, you know, if I'm losing, I pull back. I had a bad, bad day in baseball. I think it was Saturday or Sunday or whatever it was, and I took one day off. Well, as you can hear, I'm sick. I've been fighting a fever for the last couple of days, so that's why my hair looks like I'm in shambles and, you know, i got the long sleeve on. Um... I should have worn my chin protection or my chin's protection, keep my chin's cold, uh, warm. But but anyway, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to make an excuse. I'm not going to do this. The only thing I can do is I, I can do my homework and I can see where I feel we have the best chance of winning. I'll give you a quick example. I, I look at the Maryland-West Virginia game, right? You know, two teams I know very well. I'm in Maryland-West Virginia at least, you know, five times a week. They border Virginia for those who don't have a fourth grade education. Uh, I think the line's wrong. I think I think I think Virginia, uh, West Virginia should beat Maryland. Okay, um, they seemed outside of last year. You know they've beat them seven straight times. And the thing about last year was I think they got beat thirty-seven nothing. So for all you guys that have that revenge motive type of thing, would tend to lean towards um, would tend to lean towards uh, West Virginia because again we watched West Virginia hang with Alabama. Last week they came back and they blew out some pup, cup, cupcake team. I think it was uh, James Madison or some shit team like that. Fifty-two nothing. I forgot who it was. Some some real shit team. But but Maryland was lucky to win their game. I, I'm not telling you to bet this game. I'm staying away from the game because I, I don't want to have I don't want to have a team that's two and L beat me. And I, I honestly believe the wrong team is favorite. But how many can I give you? I got a list of nine games I can give you that I like can't play them all. The one game that does stick out for me is, is this one. Uh, Florida Atlantic, who I think is the most garbage team, and, and, and they might be the worst team in Division One football. They're playing Tulsa. Beginning of the year, Tulsa were were projected, and not, only that, not so much projected, because I don't buy that. They've got athletes on their team. Sure, they got annihilated by um, by Oklahoma, but who, who doesn't, and who won't? Um, they're they're a team. I seen them. I seen them play Tulane. Man, they got they got robbed there. I know. I had Tulane won, but um, they got the better athletes. They got the faster athletes, and the Florida Atlantic team. Uh, who's who they open up with? Um, last week, Alabama. They're losing forty by nothing, and, and seven and a half minutes of the game was called off. It could have been sixty to nothing. Uh, they lose fifty-five seven to Nebraska. And Nebraska stinks, and they called off the dogs. I don't know how bad this Florida Atlantic team is, but I think they gave up 1,300 yards in two games. They're going to come home, probably play in front of about 
2,500 people. Um, if Tulsa can't win this game and get up for this game, there there definitely should be an NCAA investigation. Again, it's it's football. The ball bounces in funny directions, but um, this is clearly this, this line's been moving. It's crazy. It's it, it went from plus one to minus one to plus back to minus one. It's been going back and forth. I, I think a lot of people are looking at last week's scores and don't know what to do with it. The only thing I can promise you is, is, is Tulsa has the better team. They have the faster team. And um, my line in this game is, is, is Tulsa as, as, as being at least 12 points better. If that happens, I don't know. Again, I'm not telling anybody to sell their, their mother about the game. I can only tell you what I have here. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um at www.sportsforumpicks.com, a couple of things that are happening. As a lot of people know, Sports Forum Picks is registered, and, and we've already played our first week in the LVH contest. We were three and two week one. Hopefully, we can get four and one or five and zero oh in week two, and kind of creep up in the pack there. Right now, we're about mid pack at three two, but I'm hoping after three four weeks, we'll be right there with them. I think that's very possible. So uh, we also have some contests that are going, some suicide contests. Oh wait, politically correct elimination. Contest. Don't want to insult Robin Williams' family. Okay, that was cold. But anyway, so yeah, we have them. We have some weekly you know, handicapping contests that we give away some free plays to our sponsor, uh, Bookmaker, who supports for who supports our forum and gives us some great um, great free plays and contests to run. So, so pretty much, uh, I'm really too sick to make this a funny video. Um, my comp game is going to be Tulsa. Um, they beat Florida Atlantic. Plus, I don't think you should ever bet a team called the Owls. Golden Hurricane. No, they are Golden Hurricane. Seems a little bit more tougher than the Owls. But that's it. This is the Facts Man for www.sportsforumpicks.com. For all the people that follow me at Twitter, that's at the Facts Man 1. And for all you guys on YouTube, wishing everybody a great weekend. Make some money. Have a great day. And as always, go fuck yourself.